Hi, this is Stephen Vosky. Okay, um, I'm going to walk you how I'm going to uh, deposit Nigerian Naira to my finance account and purchase BTC right away. Okay, I am supposed to be using my mobile to record this, but uh, the deposit through mobile is, is having a little bit issue here. So I'll use my PC. So that I'm just using my phone camera to record this. Thing. Now, I'm already logged into my account, so I will go to this, um, my profile here. I'm going to make this fast, so the video won't be long and won't take much size. I will go to this, um, uh, I'll click deposit, okay? Once I click deposit, it opens the deposit page, and I'll come here and then Click Fiat, select NGN. Okay, Nigerian Naira has already been recorded, recommended for me because my browsing is coming from Nigerian IP address. So I'll choose deposit method. Deposit method, I'll choose uh, card. Yeah, no, first of all, I'll input the amount. I want to deposit 20,000 right now. I'll choose the amount, I'll select payment method card. Okay. Now you see the fee is just uh, 150. I will be getting 19,850 to my Binance account. And then once I'm done filling this field, I'll click on submit here. It will open the this nice. It will open the gateway for me. Okay, as you can see, I already added my MasterCard because I deposited before. So once once this opens, this just I'll just click select your card. I'll select that card. Uh, OTP will be sent to my mobile number. Okay, let me get let me get the mobile. Let me get the OTP. Okay, the OTP has come. I will input the OTP. Um, five, nine, five, nine, eight, nine, five, two. Okay, and then um, once I input the OTP sent to my mobile number, I'll click on authorize payment. Uh, as you can see, it's processing. Okay, is the response. Thanks for for your payment. Your your payment was successful. We just sent a receipt to my email. So that's just it. It is. It is. I just see it has gone. Deposit order. If you now, if you come to this um history history, I'll I'll see all the. Deposit. As you can see here, this, look at the last deposit I did just now. Successful, 1972. Payment method card. Okay. Everything here is successful. Now, if I'll go back to my balance here at the top right. Uh, come to my balance. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, yeah, so it's very instant. As you can see, my balance has reflected. You can see Nigerian error here, 19,720. It's here already. Now, I'll go to, I'll go to, let me go to trade, okay? Let me go to trade. I want to buy this BTC right now. Right now, I'll check, click on BTC NGN and um, the chart is, is open for me to execute my trade okay i really don't like this video i wish I, I'm, I'm i'm doing screen recording it would have been more clear for me but the, the mobile app to deposit through the mobile app is having a little bit issue now it's yet to be fixed 
so i want to buy this bt right away so i'll use market order i'll click on this um market here and then fill in 100 percent as you can see 100 percent this is my balance 1970 so i feel 100 percent all everything all the engine my account will be deducted so i click on this 100 percent and click buy btc okay other field insufficient balance wow uh, let me see let me see what's the problem mm. okay mm, i don't know why this is giving me this but let me use let me use this let me use this limit order let me use limit order and buy let's see let's see okay i use limit order to buy and it has been placed the order has been placed it's an open order right now uh, still open open okay so uh, it's still open the reason why it's still open is because I bought at a price that you know there isn't any sell order for it right now so I think I'll stop this video here for now so I can continue with my trade I need to buy this order right now I buy this BTC right now because I really need it urgently so you now with this short description, I hope you understand how these things have been done. Thank you. So anyway, I actually got the video to to execute the trade instantly. But I'm sure you understand. So I've I've um I've made my purchase and look at the balance I reflected 0 0.06 BTC which I bought with a change style. Now now if you go back to your balances if you go back to your balances you see you see your btc there okay i guess there's no need checking uh, other histories and the rest it's, it's still technically the same thing so as you can see this is my btc 0 0.0 c which i just bought now see the estimated value 53 point to uh, if you make the estimate the calculation it will be giving you back that 19,000 or so which we deposited just now so it's just as simple as that